in Australia, we have a toy store called Mr. Toys Toy World. And whilst they are a bloody good toy store, their Hot Wheels are at least six to eight months behind someone like Big W or Kmart or whatever. So that's bad if you're a collector who's been collecting for ages. But for someone like me, that's bloody awesome. Because when they get a new case in, it's stuff that I've never seen before. Um, yeah, and gradually they'll catch up. But in the meantime, I'm finding stuff that I haven't got. And I'm pretty happy about that. So this is a Nissan Z Proto. I've got the Nissan Z, but I don't have the Nissan Z Proto. And actually, in the white, this is a better looking car than the others, I think, with the black top. Um, it's still a boring bit of car art, but I prefer this to the, the blue one and, yeah, the other ones that we've already seen. That's cool. 84 Audi Sport Quattro. I don't have this version of it, the yellow. Uh, no details on the back. It's got details on the front, which is rather good. Um, yeah, that's cool. And I have to say thank you to Bathurst Diecast Racing because if you'll notice, my focus is perfect. Well, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, he said about like trying to find there's a button that you can press and you know your focus will be locked. Um, I mucked around, couldn't find it, and then I just tried actually holding down on the screen, and it works. Like it works. So now my focus. You just saw it then. It just ex the exposure was a bit different, but wow, that makes a heap of difference. Excellent. Bloody awesome. We've got the Bone Shack. I think I've already got this one. It's the the open top. Um, I'm pretty sure I do have this one, but I mean, I like the Bone Shaker, so yeah, going to have another one of those. No 11 GT3. Uh, it's a Porsche. What can you say? Details on the back there. We've got the lens headlights and the Porsche logo right on the front. I think, don't take my word for it, but I think this was in either a 9-pack or a 20-pack. 10-pack, sorry. We don't get 9-packs. Um, yeah, I think it was in a 10-pack as an exclusive car. And then it came out on the card. It's a Porsche. I think I've already got it. Like, already open Pontiac GTO this is done up as a drag car you can see that wheelie bar at the back um, good decals it's got the uh, tampos on the front and um, I didn't have one of these at all obviously it's a like a, it's a Holden Monaro um, that they call a Pontiac the GTO now. But, um, yeah, oh, I didn't have one of these. So I might do something with that one eventually. On the Civic Custom, we've seen these. It's got the fat wheels on the front, skinny wheels on the back. Oh, I didn't have a blue one. So now I have a blue one. I quite like these. These are cool. Um, good decals. Nothing on the back, but mm, we can always change that. I don't know whether I've got this one or not. I think I might. But if you can't remember what you got, you've got to buy it anyway. I love it. It's a wagon. I love wagons. <laughs> if you see my latest video, you'll know why, because I just bought one. Well, I actually bought it a while. You have to go and watch the video. Um, this is just cool. Just cool. 
love it. Probably do with a good wheel swap. Again, it's red, not this washed out looking pale, deep pink sort of thing, whatever it is. It's actually red. And the last one, it's a Lamborghini Sian FKP37. I've got no idea what any of them mean, but it's a Lambo and I like it. Jeez, I say but, dramatically, but. Have a look at the back of that. That is cool. That's got some good details on it. That's sweet. Like it. All right, that's it. Just saying that, like, you know, even though it's old, it's new to me, and I enjoy still finding them, still chasing that bloody Toyota Supra. But I haven't had much chance to go out and pick lately. Um, I've been a bit busy, so I've been buying online. Next video will be something that I bought online. All right. Uru.